for the final game of the three-game series between the LSU Tigers and the Florida Gators. A top 10 showdown, a mic'd up Monday. This is her eighth straight game in the leadoff spot for the Tigers. And she hits one deep to center field. Kendra Falby moving back, can't get it off the wall. Newland rounding first, chucking into second base, sliding in safely with a leadoff double. She's got that speed running down that first baseline. To the shortstop, Wallace, quickly over to first. That means Newland has to hold. One away. Outside to her there. Fly ball to left. Corby Otis comes in. Two down. And as we showed you a few moments ago, the two starters. Ground ball to Wallace over to first. And the leadoff double does not hurt Rothrock and the Gators, who are coming to play in the first. Ball four, Falby is aboard to get things going for the Gators here in the first. Number one hitter in the SEC, Skylar Wallace, follows Falby. That's, <laughs> that's the ladder, that's the progression. Ball four, Wallace is aboard. Falby was gone with the pitch. Back-to-back -back walks to start things here for the Gators. Ended up falling low and inside. Line shot, could be two, not in time. Falby got back just in time. Pleasance threw it over to Petty. Line drive center field, Briggs, good defender in center field, back to catch it. Falby was caught off the bag, could not tag up in time. A couple of hard hit balls, but a couple of outs. Field. Here's the 0-2. That hits her, so Walsh is hit by a pitch for the second time this series, and the bases are loaded with two outs. The That's a pie ball, four. That will bring in a run, one nothing Florida. Third walk of the inning for Chafin. Hit well to right field, drifting back. Rudity's got room, and LSU gets out of the jam. Florida scores once, one nothing after one. Series that yes. we're seeing this weekend between these two teams. To 11 and two thirds last weekend. Just missed, good at bat for Lynch. She's aboard to lead things off here in the second for LSU. Received a conversation in the circle. Ground ball to second, Williams, one play, that's over to first. Moving on to second is Jillian. Softly hit to third, Rudity hustling down the line, she'll beat it out. Moving on to third is Jillio. Grounded too short, Wallace the flip the second to one, the turn the first. 6-4-3, double play. Florida's defense comes through to end the inning. How about the defense stepping up big? To finish seventh in the SEC at the beginning of the year. Now have worked their way up towards the top. Line drive to right into the glove. Of the Barnard taking a big cut at that one, thinking it was going to stay in that lower half of the zone. Foul tip into the glove, held on by Bajoran. That's a strikeout number one. And so we'll see if Chafin can work out of it. 2-2 now to Falby. Swung on and miss, and Chafin does battle back to get the strikeout. We play two in Gainesville. Gators on ball called up and inside. Fly ball to deep center field. Falby to the track to put it away. Route number one here in the third. They're in the lineup and defensively to try to make up for the loss of Danica Coffey in the lineup. And there is another hit for Newland. Her second tonight, her fourth of the series. Respect the speed that Newland has on first. Slap deep in the hole. Wallace throws the second. Great play to get the force at second. Newland's retired. Two down. Battle it out. This is hit well to center field. Falby drifting back to the track, to the wall, and she's got it. 
Hit well by Pleasance, but Falby was there to retire the side. This is hit deep to left field. Going back is Newland. Newland is at the track, and she's got it. One away here in the third. Falby at the fence in the top of the third, and now Wallace to Newland in the bottom of the third. I tell you what, these outfielders don't like me giving so much love to the infielders and the shortstops because the outfielders have made fantastic plays right up against the fence. The pitchers <laughs> love it. This is grounded to Pleasance, who can show that arm off. What's the number we were told? She was pushing 80, which she really lets it go, 80 miles per hour on her throw from short to first. 80 with a softball. That is. Our audio crew just got in my headset. I heard voices <laughs> telling me I'm right. That's slapped out to left field. I'll get down for a base hit. So Erickson delivers to the opposite field with two down. She's got her second hit of the series. Swung on, sky high to left. Newland reaching for the fence, doesn't get all the way there, hauls it in at the track to retire the side. A couple of loud outs for Florida that inning. One nothing after three. His names in softball, and I, I, before I get your thoughts on it, and I encourage you to listen to it as well if you're a softball fan. First pitch, Gutierrez grounds out, one away here for LSU. About how they go about their business day in and day out. Fly ball to left, Otis under it. Lynch is retired, quickly two down and the passion for the game and the growth of the game as a and swing decisions. Slow roller to second on the first, a one, two, three inning for Rothrock. Being in that parking lot <laughs> out beyond left field this past weekend. Leinstock had two wins in the series against Mizzou, three runs allowed. Kissler, base hit to lead things off here in the home half of the fourth inning for the Gators. So That's that. still what I've been focusing on is Bajoran back behind the plate. Sky high, foul ground, third base side. McKee has it, Kistler tagged, and now hustles back to first, one away. Popped up on the infield, Gutierrez calls for it, two down. Another prime example, a couple of quick outs after giving up the base hit to Katie Kittling communication that we've got this season. Runs in on her, fly ball, shallow left. Newland puts it away, so the leadoff single does not hurt. Hey, what the superstitious side of me says, they wore those yesterday, got the win. Line drive, two left. Turning for two, the throw's a good one, the tag is not in time. Rudity with the leadoff double, we'll see if Florida wants to challenge it. That's what allowed Rudity to slide in safely. A great play down the left field line by Corby Otis. Softly hit to Wallace, a lot of English on it. She makes the play, moving on to third is Rudity. One down. Back up the middle, base hit. The bottom of the order delivers again for the Tigers. 1-1. One, one. McKee delivers the RBI single as Rudity scores. McKee is just one of those batters that doesn't try to do too much when she steps up to the plate. Yesterday with a huge sacrifice fly, this time first pitch that she sees, she just sends it straight back up the middle. It's a rise ball outside, gets her barrel to it. It's in a hurry. Swung on, hit deep to center field. This is back and this is gone! Allie Newland, two-run home run, eighth of the season, and LSU is in front for the first time tonight. You could see with their swings in this ending, LSU just chipping away, chipping away, trying to find a pitch that they can get solid barrel on. Allie Newland has been so good all season long. Look at how smooth that swing is through the zone. It's a rise ball up and away. A great way to use your backside to get that power into that swing. Drives it straight out to dead center. A two-run shot puts LSU up in this fifth inning. Up, fly ball, you name it. This is a short hop off the glove of Wallace. Briggs is aboard with one down here in the fifth. You can see Skyler Wallace. Four pitch walk to Pleasance, two on with one down here in the fifth. Last thing you want to do there is give up. Yeah. 
Swung on and miss. Big strikeout for Rothrock. That is her first strikeout of the night. Two down. Here's Carly Petty. Fly ball to center field. Falby under it. And LSU leaves the bases loaded. But and she's going to bring the velocity in the high 60s with that heavy drop ball down in the zone. Such great light, late bite on that pitch. And she can play her position. First pitch by Falby back to the pitcher. Rosing alone, but then settled down, was able to command the zone, find the strike zone consistently. Oh, great pitch by Burzon. Wallace swinging a miss, two down. Pulls the string on that pitch, too. Everything was. Line drive center field and drifting back is Briggs to grab it to retire the side. With the respect too, because when we talked to Beth yesterday during our in-game conversation, she made a point to say how great this Florida program has been. She came here as a walk-on and just what Tim Walton has built to now. Our ground ball to Walsh at third. The throw to Williams pulls her off the bag and everybody's safe. Williams says to challenge it to the dugout and Tim. That is that's already hit one out of the yard. Center field, Falby drifts back. She's got it. Two down. Right at the knees. Throws it off the plate for ball four. Newland's aboard for a fourth time tonight. And a tenth time in this series. Flap that we typically see. Slapped out to left field. Now get down for a base hit and get all the way to the wall. But Dell scores. Newland being waved around. The throw is cut off. It's a two-run double for Ciara Briggs, and LSU's up by four in the sixth. Another clutch piece of hitting by LSU in this ball game. A rise ball up and inside. They're trying to jam up the lefties in this lineup, but a great job by Briggs to keep her hands inside of that inside pitch and actually drive it the opposite direction. For Briggs, everything else has been single so far through the first few games. Line drive to second. Williams has it to retire the side, but LSU scores two more at the end. Sydney Burzon to come in, throwing in a completely different direction than what Chafin did. Just missed for ball four, and Erickson is aboard to lead things off. Here in the sixth inning. That third baseline. Walsh through the hole into left field. Third hit of the night for the Gators. It comes here in the sixth inning. Two on here for Florida as the crowd gets into it a bit. Making the plays either way. Ball four, bases loaded with nobody out here for the Gators in the sixth. Chop to second, the throw to the plate is dropped. Erickson is safe, Florida gets a run. Ground ball over to Carly Petty. She had plenty of time to make this throw to the plate. Jocelyn Erickson running from third base, and Bajron just goes out to get it. And Desley going to see it later on in the at bat. So try to flip the script on the pitchers, go up there and look and hunt for that pitch. 3 2. Swung on and missed. Couldn't get the drop. Gout now Bernard with a 2 2. Grounded to third to throw to the plate. Got the foot down just in time, did Bajoran for the force play. Right foot on home, ba home plate. Line drive by Falby, that is to the wall. One run is scored, two runs are in, a third run is in, Falby's got a triple. Florida has tied it in the sixth. A couple of walks, a couple of misplays, and just how quickly this game can change. Kendra Falby with a great swing coming from the left side, gets underneath this pitch and drives it out to the left center gap. Sierra Briggs slips a little bit out in center when she's trying to pick up that ball. 3-2. 
Ground ball to second. Grabbed by Petty on the first to retire the side. But Florida comes back with four in the sixth to tie it. Grounded to second. Williams throws it away. Gutierrez thought about second base, but Erickson backing up the plays that came off the netting, guarding being left-handed to throw that ball down to first. Lynch to Bunt. Lays it down. It's a good one. Kowalewski to first. The sacrifice successful. One down. This is for ball four. Two on with one down here in the seventh. The series with three runs scored. Slow roller too short. Wallace gets the force at third. Heads up play by the Florida shortstop. Two down. The payoff pitch. In there for strike three. Ava Brown, the freshman, comes through in a big spot for the Gators. And we're headed to the bottom of the seventh in a 5-5 game. Bottom of the seventh. She's hit drop balls, change-ups, rise balls. This is Chop to second, moving to her right. Petty, the throw to first in time. One down here in the seventh. Series on the line here in the seventh on a Monday. Base hit, right field. Jocelyn Erickson aboard with one down. Another 2-2 two -two to Walsh. Goes upstairs, gets the strikeout, two down. Burzon working for the third consecutive day. Pitch number 60. Kistler, fly ball to center field. Briggs is in on it. Let's play extras for the second game in a row. Soft liner to Gels, one away. For Florida to tie the game up in the sixth. Newland goes to center field to Falby, two down. Another good swing just happened to go straight to the center fielder. Briggs to Brown. Brown holds onto it. Briggs with the great speed down the line, and as Madison pointed out, seven left-handed hitters series. Pleasant slips a fly ball to left. Playable for Otis, and that will retire the side. To the bottom of the eighth we go for Tim Walton's team, trying to end it when we come back. Sit back in your timing a little bit, or do you want to try to get underneath that drop ball? Hammer to third, McKee with it, over to first, one away. Called strike three, Williams retired, at two down. Pitch number eight to Brooke Bernard. Gets away, she's aboard with two down. Pitch gets away from Bajoran and at 4.27. Line drive, base hit. Bernard to second on her way to third. Being waved around now, held at third base. Falby with a double. Winning run 60 feet away. Got a piece. Thrown away. The umpire said no foul tip. I thought I heard something. They said it was in the dirt. Because first base was unoccupied, she could go to first. The throw went into the outfield. Florida wins in the eighth. What a way to end it here in Gainesville. Strike three, trying to make the throw to first. It gets away, and that's how the game ends. Of all the ways to drop the ending to this ball game, I did not have Drop third strike oh. on my bingo card. They had her too. This throw just sails from Bajoran as she throws it over to Gutierrez at first base. Had plenty of time to make the throw just too high. And the winning run coming across for Florida. A tough break for LSU. A tough fought game between these two teams. And for it to end that way does not feel good for Sidney Burzon and the LSU Tigers. Burzon challenges Wallace, gets the strikeout.
but Florida wins the game.